Hello Floss Tube. my name is Sarah, I'm from Memphis, and this is my channel about cross stitch. Welcome, welcome, it's so nice to have you here with me today. This is going to be a Floss Tube Extra for me. I don't know what number of Floss Tube Extra this is, but this is going to be a kit parade. Today is Friday, July, I'm pretty sure it's the 14th, <laughs> July 14th, 2023, and I'm going to be filming my very first kit parade. So, just I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself real quick because sometimes new people pop in on parades. So like I said, my name is Sarah. I'm from Memphis. I am a wife, a mom, a Mimi. Um, I have uh, dogs. I have a cat. I'm an MRI tech. I've been stitching since June of 2020. I love it. I have made so many fabulous friends in this community that are just near and dear to my heart. Cross stitching has definitely become integrated in all aspects of my life. And um, yeah, I love it. So welcome to the channel if you're new. If you're not new, thanks for coming back, y'all. I have been promising you all this whip parade. I am so excited to get it out. Um, it is a yucky day outside today. So I'm sitting on the floor by the window because I need to be able to like access things. I'm not in my, I'm in my stitching room, but I'm not in my normal spot. Um, I've got a new ring light since my other one got chewed up by Colt and that's the dog, one of the dogs. Um, and I've got my window open. If you hear thunder, I'm sorry, cause we're trying to have some sort of a storm situation going on. But anyway, kit parade. So what I'm gonna be showing you today are all of my kits. I'm gonna explain just a little bit with the exception of my Mirabilia kits. So I'm no, they're not gonna be any mirrors in this video, okay? But what I'm gonna be showing you are kits that are pre-packaged by whatever, the manufacturer, whoever makes them. So I have Thomas Kincaid Disney kits. I have Dimensions kits. I have Dimension Gold kits. I have Sunset. I have Riolis. I have Needle Treasures. I have, I, I just have a multitude. I have Owl Forest. I have Forbidden Fabrico. I have a lot of kits, right? So I'm going to be showing you all those kits that either came prepackaged from a manufacturer or I bought as a kit from a designer or cross stitch designer. Um, duh. Anyway, uh, uh, in addition to that, I'm going to be showing you things that I have kitted over the last few years that are just waiting on me ready to go. Now, some of them I may have kitted with chart, floss, fabric, specialty floss, beads, whatever. I might have all of it. Some of it might be partial, but I'm just going to show it to you and share. And um, yeah, let's just get started because you might see something that you just have to have and um i'm excited to go through these buckets because um or these bins because um yeah it gets me excited about what i have um stitching coming up in the future so let's just start with some of my very precious treasures they are the um thomas kincaid disney kits that are from mcg textiles these are out of print um they aren't always easy to find some of them are super hard to find. Um, they're more expensive than your average bear because they are out of print and they're Disney and they're Thomas Kincaid, so they are sought after. You'd have to purchase them normally on a secondhand market. So I'm saying like um, eBay or uh, I don't know, Mercari or a Stash Unload or a Facebook group or whatever. You're not just gonna find them at um, Michaels or you know Joanne or anything like that anymore. At one point you could buy them um, when they were in production you know and I think I never was interested in cross stitch when they were out so I think they probably ran I think they were like maybe $40, $39.99, $29.99. I think when they went on clearance, when they were getting rid of them, they were like 20 bucks or less. Those people really, really got a steal because now you don't normally see any of them for less than $100, I would say. Um, if you're paying $100, you're doing pretty good. Um, some of them are super rare, which I don't own. I have a list going and the ones that are super rare, I don't have any of the super rare ones. Um, you know, people pay astronomical prices for them on eBay. I, I think a, there was a Tangled kit that not that long ago went for like thirteen or $1,400. So, 
I'm not going to be buying one of those, but <laughs> if I ever find one at a good deal, you bet I will snap it up. So let's just get started here. I'm going to just try to just give you an overview of the kits and just show you what I, show you what I have. So let's start with my first Disney Dreams collection by Thomas Kincaid by MCG Textile. This is called Bambi's First Year. Oh, I think it's just beautiful. I have never seen this one stitched before. Um, they are full coverage kits. I didn't mention that on these. And they come they come packaged in different ways. It just depends on when you purchase them. Um, several of mine are packaged like this. They do have a large chart inside. They came with the fabric, a needle, and then the floss on the floss drops. Now, caveat, towards the end of production, I have heard through some of the groups that there were some errors in packaging as far as what um, floss came with or maybe the colors are off so I would say if you're going to use your kit fabric you know always just make sure that it's the correct size for what you're going to stitch and then I would just go through and read the descriptions and make sure that they sound right you know they do say like medium yellow orange so if that was a pink you might be like what the heck you know um there are also if you're interested in stitching these there are facebook groups on um, there are facebook groups that um people talk about like what errors are in charts or or things like that so that you know before you get started so but i'm excited to have this one i love it i think it's i think it's just really really pretty and i i have never personally seen any of these um Disney Dreams charts kitted, I mean, fully stitched in person, but my friend Amy, Fiber Arts Amy, when she went to Stitch North this past spring, um, Amanda, the Lucky Chance Stitcher, she just recently finished Cinderella, and she, Amy saw it in person. She said it was just breathtaking, so I'm excited about that. Um, oh, let me just tell you, sorry, when did this one come out? Bambi's first year was released in 2010. Okay. My next Thomas Kincaid kit that I'm going to show you is The Lion King. This one came out in 2011. I love this. Uh, one of the stitchers that I know that's finished this is um, Noah Stitches. I don't know if Noah has any of the pictures of this up on his Instagram or if he used to do floss tube. I don't know if he has anything up anymore where he shows this, but The Lion King. Such a fabulous classic movie. What a beautiful picture. I love it. It's 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 gorgeous, don't you think? The colors are good. Yeah. And this one is packaged the same as the other one with all the floss. I haven't opened these. Um, I mean, I, I guess if you're not opening your kits and looking at your charts when you get them, you are taking a chance of having like something in there that's not correct. And I don't think that any of these look like they've been like opened and resealed or anything like that. Well, this one's torn, so I could, I think I've actually looked at this one, but um, what I'm saying is, you know, so it might have come that way and then you're just kind of out of luck. But I mean, as a rule, I try to, <laughs> except for some of that sort of stuff, I do try to open them and look and see and make sure that I really have a good chart in there. Um, the next one I have is packaged a little bit differently. It is Snow White Discovers the Cottage. This is a beauty. This one um, was 2008 when it came out. And you'll see, um, I'll just come up kind of close so you can see the image really good. I guess I need to be holding these up so y'all can see them really well. Sorry about the ring light, but no way to get around that today. Um, just a, another gorgeous scene. Isn't that pretty? Uh, that one came out in 2008 and it's packaged like in a plastic thing and you know, you've got your floss and your, so if you ever, these are not available via P PDF. Like if you were to find something like that for like three bucks on Etsy, that's, that's pirated. That's not legit. Um, it would be wonderful because usually you can find a DMC conversion for the, these, this floss. This is not DMC floss that they use. Um, it's some sort of floss that MCG textiles use, and I'm not exactly sure what the name of it is or if it was if it was their own um but there are conversions out there so if you were to ever have a chance to purchase like just a chart 
from um, a stitcher who's already stitched it and didn't mark on it, you could do a conversion and you could make it work. I will tell you that the charts all come in there. I think they're like all six pages, just so that you know you're getting something legit. And this is just like an instructions page, so I'll show you. But yeah, there, there's a lot of pages to, oops. See, now I'm gonna have to put a little sticker over that, but I doubt anybody's gonna get much off that. But I just wanted you to see that like, this is how a chart really comes. And so if you had a stitcher one day who finished something and is willing to sell paper only chart, you could buy your own um, fabric and, you know, find a DMC conversion. All right. Let's see what I have next is this beauty. This is another plastic one. This is Pinocchio Wishes Upon a Star. Let me get it in nice and close so you can see the blue fairy up there. Pleasure Island. Ah, uh, it's wonderful. It's really pretty. And there's little Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket. Yeah, this one came out in 2009. Oh, this actually has a sticker on it for the original price. So it looks like Hobby Lobby had it for $39.99 back in the day. Yeah. Um, you'll see there's the fabric and the floss. This floss is packaged a little bit differently. I wonder how it's labeled. Hmm. Okay. Um, this is the only, this was the only one I've started. This is the first one I purchased. It's Cinderella Wishes Upon a Dream. It came out in 2009. So it is beautiful. Um, I bought my own fabric and I am using the floss. I had put it on one of those like panko floss holder things, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't have my whip to show you, but if you Google it, um, I found that's a good way to organize this these kind of floss. I did use the kit floss. Everything looked okay to me. And as far as Cinderella goes, I hadn't really heard a bunch of bad stuff. Sorry about, um, about I got hair everywhere about this kit um, as far as errors and stuff, but isn't it so pretty? So I'm, my progress is just like right up here in this little corner. Like I said, they are full coverage. This chart in particular has a ton of French knots in it, but so pretty, so pretty. Okay, my next Disney Dreams collection is one that I really, really wanted because it's one of my favorite movies. Um, it's The Little Mermaid. It came out in 2012. It's gorgeous. Look at that ocean. You got King Triton over here. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. And this one's packaged like the other ones with the, the floss separated like that. That's The Little Mermaid. I don't know which one I'm gonna start next after Cinderella. I'm thinking um, I want, there's one that I really wanna do that I don't have yet, so maybe if I get it. This is Beauty and the Beast Falling in Love. This one came out in 2010. Um, and this one, you know, they come with this uh, 18 count Ada and this pre-sorted cotton floss. So here's this. Let me try to get out of that light so you can see the picture really well. It's really cute. Cogsworth and Lumiere down here. The Beauty and the Beast and Mrs. Potts and Chip. Very pretty. There are two Beauty and the Beast um, Thomas Kincaid uh, kits. I have this one. The other one is um, this one. Uh, the other one is uh, much more rare and hard to find. Okay, it looks like my last one. Now, this is interesting. This is like the second kit I ever bought. Um, this is Tinkerbell and Peter Pan Fly to Neverland. It came out in 2009. I bought this from a stitcher off of Mercari. And what they did is they had taken it, and I got a really good deal on it, but they had taken it out of the packaging. And I guess the stitcher decided this was how they were going to house it when they were going to work on it. So they taped the front of the chart to a green folder. And then when I got it, you'll see I got... Um, all the floss. They didn't ever start it or anything. And the chart oops, and the chart and um, even the kit, but they just took it out of the plastic. So, which is, it's just fine with me. I plan to um, stitch them all. So it's not, it didn't, it didn't make or break it for me. Like I'm not just collecting these. I really want to, I mean, obviously I'm collecting them, but I'm, I'm, I want to collect them to stitch 
not to have or to worry about reselling or anything like that. So that those are my Disney Thomas Kincaid kits. So I think what's out there that I would still like to get my hands on, there's Fantasia and Lady and the Tramp, Sleeping Beauty. Then the super expensive rare ones would be, there's a, a Beauty and the Beast, like a Beauty and the Beast 2, there's a Tangled, and there's a Winnie the Pooh. I think that's all of them. So, oh, of course, I'm always keeping my eye out for those. All right, take a quick drink, sorry. I'm just going to go through one tub at a time. I think they're sort of grouped. I tried to. I tried, y'all. Um... Here's another little Disney kit. This is a Dimensions Finding Dory. I did get this on eBay. I don't know that this is available like in a regular store anymore. My grandson, Brooks, he loves Dory. So I thought I would get that for him and stitch that someday. That can, this is a, it's just gonna be five by seven when it's done. It's called Go With The Flow. Um, it came with 14 count Ada and needle and instructions. I'll probably stitch it on something other than that Ada. I may or may not use that floss. I'm thinking I might not stitch go with the flow. So those are my thoughts about that kit whenever I get to it. All right, what do we have next? Another little Dimensions kit. This is a reindeer ornament by Dimensions. So cute, right? I love it. I love it. Christmas is my favorite. If you're just meeting me for the first time, let's see. This one, I'm just showing you the back of it while I'm reading. Um, it's three and a, uh, 3.25 by 3.25. So three and a quarter by three and a quarter inches. Yeah. Um, it comes on a 14 count plastic canvas, uh, pre-sorted thread, needle, and instructions. I believe this one is available on one, two, three stitch for sure. Let's start working on some more dimensions. This is gonna be a lot of dimensions gold. So this first one is called Santa's Midnight Ride. It's beautiful. Look at the sky, look at the sleigh. I'm obsessed with this, with the reindeer on the side of the sleigh. The colors in this one are fabulous. Um, this one came with an 18 count navy Ada, needles and instructions, pre-sorted thread, doesn't say a date. It is still available. It's not out of print. That's how it comes sorted. And these are not as intimidating as you think. I braid them up together and you can just like jerk these out of there as, as you need them. It's not, it's not a big deal. Um, that looks like Donna Race did the design. I don't have a date on it, but it is still available. I know you can get that on one, two, three stitch. You're gonna find, you're gonna see there's a theme, okay? There's a lot of Christmas, there's a lot of winter, okay? Um, this, I love this one so much. This is called Alan Maley's Gracious Era. It's a Dimensions Gold kit. This is a beautiful, I've seen this um, posted from people stitching. Now, some people stitch the snow and some people skip it. I can't remember if they said it's like all French knots, but this is gorgeous. I love it. Um, let's see, this one came with 16 count gray Ada needles and instructions with the pre-sorted thread. This is on my shorter list of kits to start because I think it's just so beautiful. It's as far as I know, it's still available on one, two, three stitch. I, I think one, two, three stitch is an easy place to go for kits because you can sort and not a lot of online, not tons of online stores or even LNS carry a lot of dimensions kits from my experience. Um, so if you're really looking, you can go on one, two, three stitch, and then you can sort by kit and then you can sort by like designer. So if you just want to look at dimensions kits, or if you just want to look at dimensions, Christmas kits, it's really easy to go down and shop that way. And one, two, three stitch is not like a Walmart. It is, it, it is just a people own, people own the store. Um, so it's not like it's not like you're not shopping from um, an LNS. It is an online LNS, obviously, but um, they're not like Walmart or Target or anything like that. Okay, um, this next one is called Sweet Memories. 
Here comes the winter and the Christmas, right? Oh, I love this one so much. I love the dog and the cat down here. They're just waiting. I like how that, I love pink, I love snow scenes where everything's all lit up. Look at that sky back there. That's beautiful, sweet memories. This one came with a 16 count dove gray cotton Ada color coded thread sorter needle and easy instructions. So that's how that one comes. This one is called Winter's Hush. And it is a gold collection too. They get it in there real good. Is this the one with the dogs on it? Yeah, so I like this one because, um, well, I now have a yellow lab. My daughter has a yellow lab and a black lab. And so I thought, well, this kind of works good for our family. So yes, that's Winter's Hush. This one came with 16 count gray Ada needles and instructions. Yeah, I like that one. The trees are really good on that one. Can you see with the snow on them? Yeah, pretty, pretty. <laughs> this is Winter Cabin. Um, yep. Now, what drew me to this one is I love this stream and their reflection in the stream. So pretty. So pretty. Again, 16 count gray Ada. You're getting a, a you know, it's kind of the norm here. Needles and instructions. And they are good instructions. The, I mean, the, they're... I guess when they're fully stitched, let's see. It says 15 by 10. So, and these are all full coverage. I guess I should be saying that. Um, they are all full coverage pieces, all right? So sometimes when you get somebody who's never cross-stitched before and they buy a big kit like that, man, that's a lot of work. That's super ambitious for their first one. Um, this one is Aurora Cabin. I think this one is gorgeous. It shows that cabin with the Aurora Borealis behind it. Looks like I did pick that up at my LNS on clearance because I just, I haven't just don't see LNS is carrying a lot of these kits. Um, in my experience, they carry, you know, charts from designers and then all the things you need to make a kit or a kit made by a designer as opposed to like um, a dimension situation. This one is 16 count gray Ada needles and instructions. And as far as I know, this one is still in print too. Yeah, you can get this one. Okay, this one is a treasure. I am going to take it out of the plastic. This one is out of print. This one I had searched quite some time for before I um, was contacted by someone who was interested in selling it but it did not have the kit fabric with it. I did not care. So this is Christmas Cove, the gold collection. This is one of my very, very, very favorites. I love it. Do you see that Santa? Oh, and all the wreaths. And I love the snow on the ropes. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. So at one time, the gold collection dimensions came in like this black bag situation. So I got the bag and it came with all the floss, but look at all that floss I have to sort. And it um, came with the chart and then I went on and ordered some, what did I order? Probably what was called for. So I ordered Gray Ada from Witchell just to replace what would have been in the kit, which I got the information from the chart. So um, this one is also on my short list to start stitching, but that's Christmas Cove. I don't know the copyright. Let's see if it says on here. It's a design by Carl Valente. The number on this one is 8494, if anyone's interested in looking for it. Um, 1996. That's Christmas Cove. This is another one that I looked a long time to find and I was very excited. This is Dimensions Gold Collection. It is out of print. Um, it's called Roadster Santa. Oh, I love this one so much. What's the number on this one? 8707. Um, it does use, it says it uses half cross stitch for artistic effect. Um, let's see if I can find a date back here somewhere. 2003, yep. So just have to search and search if you're interested. I love the frame on this one. Look at him. 
with this Christmas tree is so fabulous. So fabulous. Oh, this one's adorable. This one is just a Dimensions. It's not Dimensions Gold. It's called Woodland Glow. I think it's beautiful. And of course, it ticks all the boxes for me. It's got snow. It's got animals. Look at this box. It's got glow from the lights. It's just precious, really. And this one, as far as I know, is still in print. Just came with all your floss. It came on 14 count Navy Ada. And you know, I don't really have a problem stitching a lot of these on the kit fabric because they're full coverage. You're not going to see what it's stitched on anyway, for the most part. Um, you know, I don't despise crunchy Ada. I'm good with it. So a lot of those I would do plan to stitch on the kit fabric. Um, the next one is this beautiful gold collection. It's called Enchanted Ornament Stocking. I first saw this when um, Amy Loves Toads, she was stitching this and she did finish her stocking and it is just beautiful. But let me get in there, get in up close so y'all can see my pretty berries. Yep. And this one came with 16 count light blue Ada. It came with the felt needles and instructions with an alphabet. So you don't have to guess on how to chart your name. There's the floss. Yeah. Still available as far as I know. Um, this next one is out of print. I was able to recently make some purchases from a collector who actually used to model stitch for Dimensions um, and for maybe some of the other large kit makers. Um, so she had a has a stash and she was been going through things. And so I was able to get this from her. This is Dimensions. Um, it's number 8300. It is Santa's Helpers. It's the Dimensions Collection of Art by Norman Rockwell. So I'm maybe you're familiar with that picture. I love that picture. It's so good. So yeah, this one came. It's all packaged with the floss. Of course, lots of sorting. Looks like it's got some Ada in here. Yeah. Let's see, in this bag, here comes a zip. My friend Justine of the Floss Tube X's and Hose, she was going through some of her Christmas stuff maybe last year and she asked me if I wanted it and of course I did so um I don't know where or how she came across this but it is the Jan Lynn it's by Alma Lynn Christmas cross stitch uh Santa tree skirt the number is 40 slash 730 there's that all those Santas on there love them love them um so i have the chart i have like justine already took all the trouble or she got them like they're all the floss has been separated and um we've got some sort of filament here and then oh y'all look at this i don't know this is huge <laughs> this is big i don't know what count this is it's got to be like 10 count or or no it might even be seven count that looks how how big that thing is um let me see what it says, if it says, just in case you're interested. Well, start at the edge of the fabric. <sighs> hmm. Well, it doesn't say, but it's big. It's probably, it's 10 count or seven count. Definitely. So, someday. Looks like a fun project. I am going to put this back in the bag. Sorry. Stand by just a second. Thank you, Justine. Okay, let's see. What else we have? I might be kind of out of the dimension. Well, I've got some dimensions petite. So let's see what we've got here. Um, this is a gold collection petites. It is ornate butterfly. This one is not out of print. It is so beautiful. I actually have been wanting this ever since I watched Jamie um, Teeny Weeny Stitches. She did a kit parade and she talked about this and I have wanted it since. So that butterfly just looks like it's just alive basically. Look at the colors in there. This one is still available. Um, as is this one, the coffee shop, the gold collection petites, uh, fine teas, coffee, foods. 
It's sweet. There are several of this in the series. I think there are other other shops, but this is the one that I have. It's beautiful. I love that window. And don't be fooled by the fact that it says petite because petite still translate into a lot of stitching, okay? I love this one so much. This is another gold collection petite snowman and reindeer. Um, it comes with 18 count Ada too. Sorry, I didn't say that about the other ones. I think they come with 18 count Ada, but isn't that adorable? Look at the scarf. Look at that reindeer with those bells. I love this one. Snowman and reindeer. And it comes with everything you need. Let's see, fabric, floss, chart. This one I believe is out of print. I did buy this on the secondhand market. It is um, from 1998. Santa with friends ornament, number 8559. I thought that was beautiful. I love the candle, the way the candle's glowing. I love the lion and the lamb. And the Santa has a really good face. So, really cool. Comes with all the stuff. I think there's a charm in there. Yep, there's a little charm in there. Turned into an ornament. Pretty. I'm looking forward to stitching that one. I think that wraps up my dimensions, y'all. Yeah. All right, so, another quick drink. Ooh, this is gonna be a long video, my gosh. Mm. All right. This next one is another one that I've searched for. It's out of print. It is Christmas Cross Stitch uh, Santa's Wish List by Jan Lynn. Oh, it's so beautiful. Again, you'll see gorgeous candle glow right there. Look at that border. I love that Santa's face. The toy bag is really good. His bag is good. That's Jan Lynn. Lots of floss to sort. Looks like some Ada. 14 count cotton Ada, six strand cotton floss, um, copyright 1994. Yep. This one I was, so I'm kind of out of Christmas for a second. This one I was inspired to get after I watched Pam and Steph of Just Keep Stitching. Um, they, Pam stitched this one. Uh, it was an older whip of hers, and during the winter, they have it hanging on the wall behind them when they film. Um, this is Sunset Chickadees and Pine Cones. I love this one. They are so sweet. The pine cones are great. Look at that snow on there. Yes, and seeing Pam stitched, not in real life, but on a video at least, um, yeah, it, it really turned out nice. Lots of floss. What do we have here? $19.99. I think it's I think it's out of print. I did buy it on eBay, so you could just search chickadees and pine cones for by sunset. This one is out of print too. This is a Candemar Designs. Um, for some reason, I started thinking about like I love marine life, and I started thinking about all the marine art. And there was a a marine artist named Wyland that paints these gorgeous murals, these big, huge whaling walls. But another really popular artist at that time, and I'm gonna butcher this person's name, but it's Christian Reese Lassen. I don't know if y'all remember that person, that artist, but Candemar Designs did one of an orca called Silent Journey Picture. I love orcas. I know they're being very naughty right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love them. They're my favorite. Yeah, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. And this comes with a bunch of floss to sort and some Ada. Um, finish size 10 by 12. We'll see if I can find a date on here. Oh, 2000. Yeah, look at the palm trees. I like those palm trees. Beautiful. Silent Journey. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. This is a newer kit. I purchased this on 123 Stitch. It's by Letty Stitch. Um, I've started one Le Letty Stitch kit before. It's called the Palace, but this one is Halloween Toys Kit. Oh, look at these vintage looking Halloween toy ornaments. They're adorable, are they not? I can't even pick a favorite, really. I really do like that little cat, though. Oh my goodness. So Letty Stitch is cool. They come with the fabric and everything. And this is how they sort their floss. Let's see. This is eight piece. Um, it says the backing and hanging cord is not included. Oh, let's talk about it. It comes with plastic canvas. It's 14 count. 
52 colors. So the skill level is three out of five. You can tell that down here by these little hearts on this kit. Um, size approximate eight by nine each. So yeah, I really want to start at least one of those this, this October. This, this kit was actually gifted to me by the company. This was just this past winter, Luca S reached out and asked if I'd like to try one of their kits. Um, I didn't get a discount code or anything like that. So I did choose this one. It's called Birdhouse. Um, let me just show you a quick. I love the birds on this. And I love if you look at like the super subtle snowy background back there. It's so good. But this is the kit. It comes a Luca S and Letty Stitch must be, they must be partnered or connected or the same. Um, skill level of this one is four out of five, 54 colors. It comes with anchor floss um, and some swagger, some Ada. Beautiful. Beautiful. I already have a project that I picked out for that one. I just ordered this one not that long ago from 123 Stitch because it is so cute. Panna, uh, my friend Zan does not like mice, but these are like little 3D little cheeses that I don't know how you, I don't know. I wanted to give it a try. Um, I don't even know. I can't read a lot of this because this has got Cyrillic writing on it. So it just says 3D design on here, but it comes with stuff. That is that was still available on one two three stitch not too long ago. This is um, a Riolas kit. So I recently did a Riolas kit for my Smalls Exchange for StitchCon. It's got this funky floss, but the pictures are gorgeous. So um, it looks like Riolas. I put it in a bag. I don't know why. I must have torn it. Um, it is called Snowfall in the Forest Wool Acrylic, and isn't that a beautiful picture? Yep, look at that moon. And those windows are just glowing. I love this so much. Um, it came with 14 count white Ada, that wool acrylic thread, 22 colors. They are already on cards. I will say if you're gonna stitch one of these, get a needle with an eye that's big enough to handle that floss and get a needle threader. It will be your best friend. Here's another one, same situation. Like I said, I bought these before I stitched one, so I'm gonna have to really uh, get my courage up to start another one of these. This is the Traveling Sorcerer by Riolis. Now this totally reminds me of, you know, straight out of Lord of the Rings, so had to have. And I just, I love the horse so much. And of course, Pretty lantern. Look at the woods behind with all the snow. Bunny. And this is the same. All the stuff's pre-sorted. Came with 14 count white Ada, wool acrylic thread, all on the organizer. And I think I'm pretty sure I bought this one on uh, one, two, three stitch traveling sorcerer. All right, almost to the bottom of this first bin. Let's see what else we've got in here. Yep, oh, got a cute little design works, little candy cane dachshund. I happen to know several people with these little doggos, so I thought that would be fun to stitch for somebody for Christmas. This one came with a little frame. I don't know if I'll use that or not, but it says it's a picture kit. Frame, embroidery floss, 18 count Ada needle. I got that on one degree stitch. This one is a Mill Hill kit. I do have several Mill Hills. This is Jim Shore, Best Friend Santa. Uh -huh. And we happen to have a little puppy that looks just like that now. So I'm thinking my husband might like this for Christmas. Mill Hill kits come with perforated paper, floss that you need to sort, but it tells you what colors are what. Beads, beading needle, a regular needle, basically everything you need if you're gonna stitch it on the perforated paper. Of course, you're always welcome with a mill hill to stitch it on regular, you know, Ada, even weave, linen, whatever you wanna stitch it on. Here's another uh, mill hill, buttons and beads winter series called Hanging Around. That's so cute. I love him just like he's, they're, they're ornaments. So good, so good. And of course that comes with your beads and floss. 
button, everything you need. There is something going on with Mill Hills right now. They are changing who they're getting their buttons from. Um, I think they're switching to Jabco is what I heard. So if you can't find something available right this second, it might be because they were having a hard time sourcing buttons. And so they're kind of going through a change right now. I just recently, this is one of their new ones, Baking Spirits Bright. I just recently got that from my LNS. That is a winter holiday collection. These little ones are just really cute. This was a counter glass bead kit with treasure. Magnets included on these, so you can make these into little magnets, these small ones. This one, this is Winter Greetings Charmed Ornaments Star. Yep, I've got some people I wanna stitch some of these for. Comes with your beads and your floss. Does this one have a magnet? Nope, so I think this one's meant to be an ornament. And of course, this little Mill Hill Winter Holiday Collection Christmas Pickle Counted Glass Bead Kit with Treasure. Oh, Magnet is included with this one. But you could also use that for your pickle on your Christmas tree if you're familiar with that um, tradition. Last year, Jackie and Justine from X's and Hose, they did a little stitch along together with the pickles. Oh, okay, now look what I have here. Um, I have a... Thomas Kincaid Disney Dreams Collection, a little tiny MCG textiles ornament. Used to have a frame with it. It's a Jiminy Cricket. So it looks like all I have, I can't show you, but it looks like because of the charts on the back, all I have is the fabric and the chart. But I'm sure if I wanted to stitch it, I could just find my own colors. But what that is, is that is a little cutout of what he's actually doing on that big Pinocchio one that I have. I must have bought that a million years ago. It cost $3.29. Okay, so box number one is done. Uh, bin number one, I'm going to put everything back in it. So bear with me for just a minute. You're going to see some cut and edit here. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, had to do some rearranging here. All right, my next kit I purchased from a, an individual. Um, it is a Bucilla kit. It's called Christmas Wishes, number 83701. I love this. I love this Santa, but I also really like the uniqueness of the oval with the border, with the background. Very, very cool. Let me see if I can see a, from 1997. I've got the floss, chart, fabric. I like that one. Very neat. Fabric looks kind of Probably when I stitch that, I'll find something else. Here's another Jan Lynn. It's Joy at Christmas. Um, this one came with even weave, floss, metallic thread. Oh, look at that. Playing the trumpet or the trombone or the, no, the trumpet, sorry. Playing a horn. Oh, I love this holly going along the border here. Just precious. Someday. Oh, and again, you've got some floss and fabric charts inside there. This one is fun. This is by, I never heard of this uh, designer before, Hickory Hollow. It's called I Remember Santa Sledding. I mean, how adorable is that? I, mean, I don't know. Probably they don't show Santa smoking a pipe in a lot of things anymore. <laughs> but look at that cool quilt. Oh, that's his bag feet down here. Um, I was trying to see if I have a copyright on that or like a date, but I don't. Uh, yep. Fabric and floss. Oh, looks like we've even got some, ooh, that's got to be some old chronic in here. My goodness. Yeah. All right. Another Christmas one. This one is by Designs for the Needle. This one is called Polar Santa. I bought this from a collector as well. It's Jan Lynn too. Oh, it's so good. Look at that polar bear. He's like telling everybody all about it. Like, what's up? Here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> I love the colors in this one. Yeah, yeah, gorgeous. And this one's got it, the chart floss, not sorted floss, <laughs> and fabric. It looks like it comes with 14 count dark blue Ada. Yep. This one is another Santa. This is Needle Treasures Spirit of Love. 
So this Santa's a little mm, intense, uh, but I love the I love the fact that he's coming out of the chimney. I like the moon. Like there's a lot of aspects that I really enjoyed. So even though he's very serious. I mean, I guess he is doing a pretty big job that night. Um, this came with 14 count Ada gloss chart. Um, came out in 1999. The designer of this one was Donna Vermillion Giampa. Yeah. Okay, and then I got this kitted up for my collector as well. And this is um, an issue of Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. It's in November, December, 1991. Beautiful Christmas tree on the front. But what was kitted was this middle piece, Santas of Fable and Fantasy. Oh, look at them. I'm trying to get that glare off there. Oh, look at those fabulous Santas. This is so good. I love it. I love the moons up here. I love the border. I love all of that. Let me see if I can find, I don't know who designed this. It's probably somewhere in the back here. Um, but it, it's kitted with the floss and Krynik and fabric. And let me just see if I can find anything about who designed it. It's like, stitch with this. Ugh. I wish they had listed the designers on these um, charts, but I don't, I don't see anything. Oh, art director, no. Okay. So that's what that one's in. It is November, December, 1991. Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. It's 31 great projects. All right, Ooh, we're gonna give Christmas a break. And we're gonna hop into some of my um, Beatrix Potter kits. I love Beatrix Potter. This one is Needle Treasures with Borderlines. It's called Peter and Mr. McGregor's Garden. Now, what I really like about this one is I love Peter and Mr. McGregor's Garden, but I love how this is set in and then you've got all this around it. That's cool, I like that. I like that style. Uh, it came with, looks like Ada and Floss. Do I have a date on this one? This is interesting. This is Frederick Warren and Co. And does it have a date? Oh, 2000, 2000. So I would imagine the, that's out of print. I did buy it from a collector or on the second hand market. I'll just say that. Um, here's another one, the world of Beatrix Potter, Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Very cool. Uh, this one actually is, it has 14 count Ada and DMC. And this copyright is 1998. My next one is um, The Tale of Jemima Puddle Duck. So 1996, this one came with the Ada um, cotton floss needle cording and ribbon because you're, I guess you're supposed to make it, finish it into like this little book situation. Oh, I love some Jemima Puddle Duck. Yeah, so that's what all, all that came with. Um, this is by Needle Treasures, the World of Beatrix Potter Alphabet Sampler. Get it kind of get you up close to see everybody on there. That is a, a large cast of characters there. Um, this one also came with the fabric and the floss. 1993 is the copyright. 18 count Ada. This one, I love this one. This is Needle Treasures as well. This one is called The World of Beatrix Potter. That's what this one's called. I like the tones. It's like all those pretty brown sepia tones. Very pretty. Came with a uh, needle and, um, not needle. Well, probably there's a needle in here. I don't know. It does say there's a needle in there, but uh, floss and four, 14 count Ada. Let's see the year on this one, 1996. And this might be my last one. The World of Beatrix Potter. This is the birth sampler. This one actually has anchor floss in it. I don't have a baby to stitch for that needs a new birth sampler yet, but 
never know. So this one's a little interesting the way it's kitted, but yeah, there's all the anchor floss. Nice. nice. I believe all those Beatrix Potter kits are out of print, so you'd have to kind of dig around by their names, see if you can find something on the secondhand market. These are not out of print. Here's this one. This is a little RTO kit, antique Dutch tile, Dutch tiles, miniature counted cross stitch kit. Isn't that pretty? I like it. I like it. I think this was a one, two, three stitch purchase. You should be able to still get that. And that one came with floss, probably 14 count, 18 count Ada. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Blue is my favorite color. Here's another birth sampler. I don't know why I couldn't resist this one. It's cute. Design works. Uh, it's by Joan Elliott. It's nursery rhymes. Look at that. That's adorable. I mean, I just feel like that looks like it's going to be fun to stitch. What do you think? Um, I did get this one on one, two, three stitch. Gloss fabric. So cute. That moon. Huh. The dish and the spoon. Yeah, fun. Okay, let's see what's next. It looks like one time randomly, I think I saw this on Amazon. This is a Hocus Pocus cross stitch kit. Um, I don't think I was super excited with this one when I got it. Let's see what's in here. It was not expensive. Oh, okay, yeah. So it came with a little a little hoop and a needle and some floss. And some Ada, but what I did decide to keep it for was a couple. Of, it comes with this little bitty book, <laughs> book, and it's got like a, a chart that says a muck a muck a muck on it, and then it's got a chart. Um, I can show you like this with like their their brooms and the vacuum cleaner and everything. I put a spell on you. I got this one on Amazon. I'm thinking I got this like last fall, so it might still be available. Oops, is that the, there you go, a muck, a muck, a muck. Yeah, so basically I like the little pattern book. I would not use probably, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I might be used something for that little tiny hoop. I don't know what kind of floss this is. It says Disney Hocus Pocus on it, so it doesn't have like a, a brand probably still find that comes in a little box yeah Disney Hocus Pocus cross stitch kit all right let's see oh yes I've got some owl forest kits to share with you so one year I started um, a thing called um, owl forest mania and I just started a bunch of owl forest kits in May but there were some that I had that I did have not started yet um owl forest does make beautiful kits they are a Russian company so I don't really know how the particulars of going about sourcing that these days but um I've had these so this one is I think this one's called enchanted forest they come in these sweet boxes isn't that a great chart look at the bear i mean just look at all the stuff i love it so much so comes in a box um when you buy their kits you get their gorgeous owl forest floss which is just a lot of the colors are really heavily variegated they're very pretty they come with little bobbins with an owl on them they're precious usually give you a nice even weave um and then they give you um a needle minder and a needle it coordinates with it a little booklet that just kind of tells about their company and huge huge charts okay charts that are actually you can like cut they like separate them with little like perforated lines I don't know if you can see through that or not and you can cut them out and use them as like a working copy because I mean they're just they're they're huge but I like it the first time I ever started one and I was like cutting I'm like I feel like I'm doing something wrong I'm cutting my chart and then they give you one that's not all cut up and it's just all together and um 
it's big and gorgeous and perfectly clear and easy to read and instructions. And so their kits are really, really nice. And, um, I really like this, this Enchanted Forest one in particular. I have another one that's, you know, kitted the same. Um, this one's called Charmful Meadow, I'm pretty sure. Isn't that beautiful? What's this one got on it that I liked so much? I don't know. I just been that house in the middle that really caught my eye. It's pretty. It's really pretty. And it came kitted just the same. Um, the floss are just gorgeous for this one, too. Oh, look at that. Woo! Beauty, beauty. It's a nice even weave. Big chart and, oh, another little needle minder. Looks like this one has, like, a windmill or something on it. Yeah. Pretty, pretty. Love the Owl Forest. Now, I thought um, this fall... I was gonna start this next Owl Forest kit. That's why it's not in its box anymore. It's in this beautiful bag that my friend Alexis, My Amazing World made for me. <sighs> so actually what I did was I cut the top of the box off, but this is, I think the name of this one is, now I'm saying I think I, the name of them because they're in Cyrillic here, so I can't read that. But uh, Bountiful Autumn is, I'm pretty sure what this chart is. And I think even if you can't get the kits now, somewhere you're still able to buy like the PDFs of them. And what happened was, what happened was, that little squirrel needle minder that came with that kit. Oh, sorry. Oh gosh, she's really adorable. There you go. Um, and I've got my floss ready to go. Pretty, pretty. I think it's complicated. Like, uh, it wasn't as easy and straightforward as I thought it was going to be. This one has some decorative stitches and so when I was ready to hop into it I was like oh maybe not today because I must have just not have been in the frame of mind where I was ready to tackle something out of the ordinary so I did not end up starting it when I thought I would but it's still all kitted up ready to go whoops oh my gosh look what I just did sorry people sorry friends didn't mean to do that. I think I'm okay. I'm sitting on the floor because that way I can get to my stuff. So, but it's causing some things, obviously. Now this one, this project bag is just holding floss that I ordered for them because this is the floss for their Alice in Wonderland stitch along. That is a free chart that you can go to the Owl Forest website and download. They have several of them. They have a Wizard of Oz and a hundred owls and they've got a new one going right now treasure island but this is the floss that they um made floss pack for the alice in wonderland um stitch along that i have not started but when i want to i have the floss uh, i guess i'll pop a picture of it up some point in that little speech so you all could have seen that obviously um okay Let's see, here's a, here is a kit that I bought from the designer, the Primitive Hair. Um, I ordered this, I think it was like Teresa Kitten Stitcher or something sold these, but it's called Home is Where My Stitching Is. That's the chart. Um, it came with a 30 count fairy gray linen by the Primitive Hair. And it came with the DMC and a few fancy flosses. Um, See, stitch count is 135 by 195. I don't know if you can buy this from her or not. Um, here's the thing. That is a big house. <laughs> that is a big white house. I do not know if I'm ever going to stitch this. I like this area up here. So I talked with a fellow stitcher and we were trying to figure out, like, was there something else we can do and not do all of this? But, um, yeah, beautiful. I love the primitive hair. You're about to see some more primitive hair. Um, I have kitted this one. Zipper's coming. Sorry, people. <clears throat> this is Christmas Queen of the Needles. It's a needle book. Uh, Primitive Hair has a whole series of needle books from Christmas, winter, summer, mermaids, you name it. They've got it. Sorry for the loud vehicle. I, of course, love Christmas. And I saw this actually in-person stitch when I was at market in 2022. And I just loved it. These, they're these little rusted bells that you attach to it. I have the bells. I don't have them with my kit, but I have them with my finishing stuff. I was able to source those. Um, this comes, I've got the 30 count old Salem linen for that. 
that's by the primitive hair um i don't have the dmc it looks like it's dmc one two three four five dmcs and two gentle arts oh i don't have that floss pulled which is kind of odd but yeah i like that one all right comes another primitive hair. Let's see what this one is. This is Moon Queen of the Needle series. So see, it's another needle book. It's gorgeous. Um, this one is stitched on the 30 count old Salem linen by the primitive hair. <sighs> it is again, it is a mix of, oh, it's DMC, Gentle Arts, Classic Color Works, Krynic and Rainbow Gallery. So let's see what I have with this one looks like I have I have the linen um, Old Salem yeah. and I have oh looks like I have the fancy floss yeah lots of fancy floss sorry and I have the DMC and I have some petite treasure braid and a chronic so yeah, I'm ready to go on that one whenever the mood strikes me. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, oh, here's another needle book. <laughs> I loved the needle books, okay? I saw them all in person at market and I was drooling. This is Sun Queen of the Needle series. Oh gosh, that's so gorgeous. This one is the same, 30 count. Oh, this one, ooh, this one's good. This one's stitched on 30 count white stardust by the Primitive Hair. Um, it's a mix of DMC, Gentle Arts, and Threadworks. And I did, I do have the Threadworks. I special ordered it. So let me just show you all. This is the Stardust Linen by the, by the Primitive Hair. I don't know if you're getting this good or not. I don't want to take it out. But it's like, it's got like sparkly gold on it. Ooh, it is so good so good and let's see what i've got in here it looks like i've got a couple of thread works um no krynic it says krynic fine number four braid over dyed oh romanian forest and goldilocks wow y'all look at this oh my gosh yeah, i have to put this up on this so you can see this floss that's fabulous so pretty so blingy and I've got looks like I've got the DMC and the fancy gloss over dyes pulled so you get the idea of all the gorgeousness that will be going on with that mmm that makes me want to start that one like now but look how cool the inside is the inside of the needle book where you can put what size needles Love it. Love it. Oh, I've got another primitive hair. This was a market exclusive in 2022. Um, it is called the Cross Stitch Collector. Yes. Um, it came with, it looks like some 30 count old Salem linen, um, a button. button. It needs some fancy floss. It came with a board, like to finish it on. Yeah, finishing board. And what do I have so far? Looks like I've got a fancy floss and a crinic pulled. I don't know what else I need to get. Looks like a couple more fancy floss and a couple more uh, DMCs. That would be really cute to put up in my stitchy room. And that does not look like a ton of work. I think that's all my primitive hair for now at least now we're about to get into forbidden fiber co country and y'all just pull up a seat because um yeah i have a lot of forbidden fiber co kits so what leanne does i'm going to call them kits what leanne does a lot is um she will make a kit and it'll include a bag with a really pretty little pull and inside the bag you will find a chart. This one happens to be May the 4th. And the fabric to go with it. Usually you can pick what kind of, what count or what style. Looks like I've got 
charcoal Ada opalescent 18 count. And it comes with all of the beautiful Forbidden Fiber Co. floss. She literally has like, I, I love her floss so much, y'all. You just give it a try. It's fabulous. And it's, it's, it's fabulous. So we've got floss, fabric, a chart, chart, a cute bag with a cute zipper pull, and a coordinating needle minder. So that's what you're going to see when I'm pulling out the rest of these Forbidden Fiber Coat kits. All right, the next one, I got this because I'd like to stitch this for my brother someday. The Simpsons, look at that sparkle on that one. And the cute donut charm. So good, so good. Such great theming. It's donut o'clock somewhere. Yep, that's great. We've got, oh, a little floss pack. She did this one a little bit differently. Must not have needed much of those colors. And then lots of pink because, you know, we got that big old donut going on there. And let's see, we've got 14 count Ada in Tumbleweed. And Camp Bart Needle Minder. So my brother has always been a Simpsons fan. He is a graphic designer. And so it's just up his alley. So someday I'd like to stitch that for him. Oh, this one's cute. I think this one houses a gingerbread house. A little zipper pull. So if you ever see any of Leanne's Forbidden Fiber Co. little kits come out, that's basically what you're gonna be getting in them. Um, I got Candy Cane Wishes, Mistletoe Kisses. So cute, right? I got, uh, let's see, a 32 count yard, uh, eighth of a yard of spearmint, which is a beautiful green color. Floss, floss, floss. From Twin Mommy Creations, a little gingerbread house, needle minder. And oh, somehow I got something extra. Looks like some candy cane chapstick, which I need to leave. I need to leave that out. I can use that before I stitch it. Ah, this is a good one. This is a Jurassic Park release. Look at this. Ah, so cute. All right. God creates dinosaurs. This is a good chart. I like it in the movie when they try to say that. And then we've got um, a 32 count prehistoric. And of course, gorgeous. Forbidden Fiber Co. Floss. And let's see what our needle minder says. Oh yeah, cute, it's like a stegosaurus. Very cool, very cool. I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan, so I could not pass that one up. Hmm, I think this one is the Queen Charlotte kit. Beautiful, that is a Bridgerton story that just came out this past spring. Yep. Queen Charlotte, you are wise or perhaps unusually lucky to understand friendship to be the best possible foundation a marriage can have. Cool chart. Fabric is Parliament, 32 count. Oh, pretty, pretty floss. Oh, look at that purple. What color is that? That's fabulous. Uh, oh, the queen, of course. Shoulda known. Should have known. And let's see. Look at a little Pomeranian. Very cute. Very cute. Got a little Bridgerton theme going on here. I think, what did I do? Oh, I think this was a box, so I don't have it in a little bag like that. This was a big one. This was a big one. This is called Bridgerton. I think this is the first one she came out with. And you'll see it's like in black and white because it's kind of a surprise. You're supposed to open these um, little cards every day and stitch and then you get to see the colors. It is on a beautiful piece of um, opalescent parliament that's 32 count. Yeah, Lady Whistledown. It was Lady Whistledown Society Papers. 
and it came with that and what's this it probably came with some other stuff that i pulled out and used for something else uh, looks like some really cool floss drops with the silhouette of lady whistledown and a bee very fun yep oh, here's another one that is a gilmore girls where you lead i will follow cute bag this is called the Rainy Lorelei's Beautiful Quaker Chart. I love this fabric. It is, um, it's called Frozen and it's a 32 count opalescent. Oh, it's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. With a very, very pretty, pretty floss with fun names. I'm all in Coffee, Coffee, Coffee in Omnia Paratus. Monkey Monkey Underpants. Those are all Gilmore Girls references. Looks like it came with a, oh, a Luke's Needle Minder. Very fun. Yeah, that's a cute chart. Good little kit. I, said, I, I enjoy Leanne's kits. I haven't been stitching a lot, but they're good ones. Someday. Um, this one is called Not Fragile Like a Flower, Fragile Like a Bomb. This is something about like girl power. See, it's got that cute little. Mm, what's this got in it? Fight like a girl. Some women are lost in the fire. Some women are built from it. We've got a piece of 32 count rose petal. Ooh, that's pretty. And a whole bunch of floss. Look at these. And what's that cool, funky one? Oh, if I like a girl, is that modeled one? I love those when she does those. So nice. So nice. What else do we have in here? I feel like I should have a needle minder in here, but I think it was in this bag, but I don't see it. So I might have put it someplace else. I don't remember what it was. Oh, this is a good one. This is an Outlander bag. Sing me a song. Oh, I love this. I love this. Got your dragonfly with the amber. If you know, you know. It's called Ye Are Blood of My Blood and Bone of My Bone. She just came, recently came out with a new Outlander one. I don't have that one yet. This is a 14 count tumbleweed. Pretty, pretty floss. Oh, look at that one, Heather. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, and a needle minder. Oh, those are pretty flowers in there. Wow, dried flowers. Nice. Here comes another one. Fangirl, fangirl. This is my discovery of witches one. Beautiful tree life bag. What do we have in here? Absence and desire. If you've, watched, if you've read the Discovery of Witches books or watched the show, you'll know this is 36 count dovetail. And oh, these beautiful, dark, rich, rich, rich colors for floss. So pretty. So, so pretty. Oh, what's this one? What color is this? Oh, Nightlock. Gee, look at that. That's gorgeous. And, oh, Ash Mole 782 is the needle minder. That's from the book. Here we go, a Lady Whistledown Society Papers. I think I said, I think she has three Bridgertons. This is Viscount. That's from the second season of Bridgerton. So nice. We've got a piece of Parliament, 32 count. Um, we have got some finishing materials. A needle binder from Twin Mommy Creations. A bookmark. One side of it is from Kate Sharma. The other side of it is from Anthony Bridgerton. What do we have? Oh. Some wisteria. I wonder if that came in another one. Well, the wisteria is caught up with some floss, so stand by. Pretty floss. Pretty, pretty, pretty. What's this one called? Can 
confession. Mm, they're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Couple more Forbidden Fiber Co's. A muck, a muck, a muck. You know, that has to be Hocus Pocus. What do we have here? Oh, Life Potion is the chart. We've got 32 count Sanderson for the fabric. Some pretty, pretty colors. Ooh, look at that one, Black Flame Candle. How fun, how fun. And what else is in here? Oh, a good, a needle minder. Um, Salem, Massachusetts. Don't light the black flame candle. That's a good needle minder, huh? I love the show, the movie Hocus Pocus. Hopefully get to go to Salem this fall. See where they did some filming. This was a little uh, box from Leanne from Forbidden Fiber Co. It was a 13 days of Halloween box. Looks like I had a candle in here. <laughs> I've got 32 count dappled moonlight. Ooh, that's pretty. And this is the haunted house. And this is another one where she printed it in black and white. So you'd be surprised as you stitched along, um, I think. Yeah, look at those pretty. Oh gosh, what is that? Lichen moss and headless horseman. That's a good color, that orange. Got some floss drops. And a spooky bookmark. <laughs> Uh, and a, oh, a needle minder of the chart. Yeah, that's a good one. I guess I don't have it. It didn't, it came in a box because it had stuff with it. So it wasn't like one of the little kits with a bag. So that's why it's still in the box. Okay, my second bin is done. I have one more pretty much like overfilling tub, overflowing tub. I think what's gonna be in the next one is mostly um, stuff that I personally have kitted up. So stand by just a minute here and I'm gonna load this bin back up and then I'll be right back with y'all with my last bin. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I um, just got through uh, loading up that other bin. This should be my last overflowing bin. Wow, this has really been something very eye-opening. What I believe is in this last bin are things that I have kitted up. Um, like I bought the chart and the floss and all the things. So, all right, my first one is going to be a, one that I'm going to be starting August 1st. Um, this is called The Autumn Garden by The Drawn Thread. You're welcome to join my stitch along if you like. The Autumn Garden Sal. I might be the only one stitching it. It's gorgeous. I actually purchased this from the Drawn Thread on their website and I bought it with a, the thread pack and um, the fabric. I'm gonna say it was definitely worth it because the thread pack is great. Uh, the chart calls for multiple different kinds of silks and you don't need the whole skein. And so they provided everything we needed, everything you need on a little card. And um, I went for the called for, I think it's like a dirty, Linen by Zwarga. I think it's 32 count. I think it's 32 count. I don't know. I don't know. It lives in this really pretty Shiva Designs bag. The squirrels. My next one I'm going to be starting in the next couple days. In fact, I can't believe I haven't already started it. This is going to be, um, this. the chart is a Civil Samplers by my friend Colleen, Rebel Stitcher. Um, Motor City Stitchers has started a stitch along called the Rebel Sampler Sal. I'm gonna be stitching this one that says if they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. And I'm gonna be using this gorgeous fabric by my friend Leanna Forbidden Fiber Co. It's 40 count. Um, I think it's called something about mistletoe, under the mistletoe. And then I haven't decided exactly yet which ones, well, I kind of have, but these are some beautiful silks by my friend Ymir of Almond M&Ms. Look at those gorgeous colors. So I'm gonna be doing a conversion with that. I am gonna be starting that one soon. So that is fully kitted and ready to go. Living in this super cute black cat extitchery. Look at these Mickey Mouse and blue. How can you go wrong? 
Um, this one is kitted up, except I don't have the fabric yet. So this is a Lone Elm Lane chart, Snow Angel. I think this might be out of print. I did buy this secondhand from somebody. Um, I bought it and I have one of these exact round shaker boxes to put it on. I don't know if it's out of print for sure or not. You might be able to find it. I just I haven't seen much of it. Um, I have all of the um, called for fancy floss, which is a bunch of gentle arts. The thing is, is that the called for fabric is Ale by um, Lakeside Linens, and I need to get something comparable to that. So I'm on the hunt. If anybody has any suggestions of something similar to Ale, I'd be happy to hear it. I definitely want to make sure this angel in white is on display and I need a 36 count because that is the size that fits the top of that box. Um, next one, Ooh, look at that. That's Lake House Stitch Co by Gigi down in Florida. This is the cutest fabric. <laughs> um, all right, so this is another sampler that I'm gonna be starting very soon with um, Justine from X's and Hose and Fawn of Sanctum Stitching. It is a scary sampler by Heartstring Samplery. So Beth Twist charted this. Um, there are a lot of like movies and literary and sci-fi references in here. Um, there's the snake from Beetlejuice. Uh, there's um, uh, The House is Bleak House by Charles Dickens. Uh, Kathy's Ghost from Wuthering Heights is in the window. Those flowers around the edges, those are demigorgons from Stranger Things. Um, Gosh, the cemetery tombstones are from Great Expectations from Charles Dickens. The flying pterodons or pterodactyls or whatever they are, that's from Jurassic Park. Um, the Death Star Moon is from Star Wars. So it's a very, very cool sampler. And um, she, Beth Twist, wrote all of the information in the, in the chart. Um, I am going to stitch this one, I'm pretty sure, on a beautiful piece of 40 count um, Extrude Designs Milk Chocolate. It's really pretty. I um, got this from Rebel Stitcher Designs uh, website. She has a lot of nice Extrude fabric. And then this is the Vicki Clayton Silk Conversion Pack for this chart. I was able to purchase this from the Garon Stitchery website. So that one is all kitted and ready to go for September 1st for Sampler September. I'm going to be starting this one October 1st. This is a cool bag from Black Cat Stitchery with Teresa Kogut fabric on it because I'm going to be stitching a Teresa Kogut piece. Um, it is the Halloween sampler, which is this one on the front cover. This is a great book. Hello, Halloween. I'm um, starting this. Um, hmm. My friend Bobby, Pumpkin Creek Primitive, she's stitching it. Janelle from Coffee Wine Stitching Time, she wants to start it, and so does one of her friends. Um, that is October 1st. Like I said, you're welcome to join this. Mm -hmm. This is a 40 count. It is a Swamp Monster. I think it's by Laura's Fabrics, and Laura is um, RETM's daughter. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And I am also going to be using a Vicki Clayton Silk Conversion Pack. Can't hold them all up here. Um, I was able to purchase that from the Garons to Tree website as well. So I'm excited to start this one. Probably gonna stitch on it for a million years, but it's all ready to go. All right, this is fun because I'm not really exactly sure what's in here. Woo! Okay, <sighs> let's see what this one is. Um, this is this is Aurora, Quaker Fantasies by RATM. Now RATM charts her Quaker Fantasies in DMC, so I don't see my DMC in here. But lots of times I don't get too stressed about DMC because uh, usually I get my hands on it. Um, sometimes I don't get very stressed about fabric either because I have a stash and I can figure that out. It's usually like specialty fibers or beads that start making me want to get it. But um, I did kit this one up fabric wise. This is a 32 count opalescent called Artemis from Be Stitch Me. It's not the called for fabric. The called for fabric is um, Melody by Fabrics by Stephanie, but it's beautiful. And actually Ari gifted me um, a set of floss drops 
because I finished stitching um, her Nutcracker chart and she just was super kind and sent me a like a certificate of completion with some and let me choose a set of floss drops. So that was really, really nice. Let's see, what's this one? Oh, I stuck a picture of this one up here. This is a, this is the stitch along that has not happened yet, may not happen yet. This was a um, Lolly from Lollipop Stitches and Carrie from Three Tail Stitchers and I, we were trying to find a Disney chart we really wanted to stitch. So we found this one at Disneyland. I think it's Disneyland at Halloween or something to that effect. I can't show you. I just have the, um, like, I, I just have it printed out. So, um, but it comes with all this fabulous, it doesn't come with, I get it, all this beautiful, bright DMC. And then I was going to be stitching it on a piece of 36 count um, Mystic by Pictureless Plus, which is my favorite blue, but it has been purloined for by for another uh, start that I needed it for. So I'll have to get another piece of fabric and I might not get the 36 count because Mystic is a really, really super dark blue and um, it's pretty hard to see on. So, oh, here's one. This was a, this is a cutie. Um, it is Grandma Girl Designs. I got this off of Etsy. There's a picture of it and that cute little Disney. I have this kitted up with some, looks like some Crunchy Ada in the DMC. Um, it fits nicely in a 10 inch hoop for an eight by 10 frame. I love it. That's sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I've had that one kitted up for a long time. I kind of forgot about that one. Oh, what's next? Um, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh. This is um, my Women of Honor sampler by Rebel Stitcher Designs. I was gonna start that last year for, on my mom's 70th birthday, but I didn't, but I still wanna stitch this. It's very cool. You can um, add the names or initials of anybody that you like to in it. I bought the whole needle minder and let's see, I've got a whole bunch of um, fancy floss for it. All right, looks like I have all the fancy floss. Um, I just need to choose some some fabric and get going. It's kind of big, so I might try to get a smaller count. I don't know, it's beautiful. It's got some good important names on there, for sure. That's a great sampler, my Colleen. And this is in a super cute little stitch and piece bag. Okay, let's see what we got going on with the Margaritaville bag here, also by Stitch and Peace. Oh, I love this one. I bought this one not last year, the year before at um, StitchCon. This is called Sally Shore. It's by Hello from Liz Matthews. She signed it for me. Colleen signed my other one for me too. I love this so much. It's so pretty. I am gonna be stitching this one on a 40 count um, needle and flax thorn field because I feel like this looks like the beach. In fact, this is the exact piece of fabric that I wanted to start the Lila Studio Summer Quaker on, but I, they didn't have any at keepsakes this year when I, we went. But I don't have the floss pulled yet. You can use MPI silks or DMC. Um, I mean, I, I could could kit up, I don't have the, I could kit up the MPI silks because I am doing it on 40 count, so I wouldn't use as much, but I might go for DMC too. What's this one? Oh, I don't know who this bag is by, but it's cute Grinch bag. Oh, Chuck Full Christmas by Erica Michaels. Yeah. I think I was just gonna do the stocking. I was not gonna do it on the silk gauze, but I just got the DMC pulled, it looks like. I don't have any floss yet. But see the stocking back there? It's little and it's cute. I was going to start that last year. That didn't happen. I've got another one kitted up here. Look at this gorgeous gear on Toten Bags bag. Woo. Beautiful. This one is Winter Garden. Hello from Liz Matthews. I've had this kitted up for a long time too. Um, what am I stitching this on? Ooh, that's pretty. Um, I was gonna start it. I feel like this is an extra design. So hold on just a second. I'm probably up the card in here. I don't. I think this might be extra designs. Marble pointer maybe. Um, let's see. 
Oh, and I did, this one was charted in Gloriano's, but there is a DMC conversion, but I was working on an overdye conversion. So I think I was trying to convert the DMC to overdyes to do it. That was what I was working on. I don't know about this fabric though. I know I just smelled that fabric. <laughs> Because lots of times the X2 designs smell a certain way. I don't know about that fabric for sure, though. That's weird. And it is a small count. It's probably a 36. Okay. What's next? I don't know what's in here. Oh, I've already stitched this once. But I stitched it for my Smalls Exchange and I adored it. So I'm going to stitch it again for myself. So it's Forget Me Not by Summer House Stitch Works. And I still have all of the things I need to do a totally another one. So I've got um, the floss from Classic Color Works. And I've got, I think it was like stitched on some chalkboard fabric. And I still have enough Peapod from Lady Dot to have it finished into a drum. So, yeah, I'm going to stitch that one for the second time for myself this time because... That is a beautiful, oh, it was a beautiful little drum. I, I was obsessed with it. I had a hard time giving it away. Probably, if I would have thought about it, I would have <laughs> kept it for myself and uh, <laughs> made something else for the Smalls Exchange. Okay, let's see what I have kitted up in here. Okay, I think I was going to stitch some stuff out of this. Veronique, I can't say her name. Here we go. I just butchered the French too much. I've never even heard anybody say her name before, so I can't even pretend to copy. So I've got some fabric and it looks like a handful of DMC because what am I gonna stitch on this? Let's see, I've got some little bookmarks in the book, so. Hmm, it's either gonna be that one. I have a feeling, I really like mushrooms, so I have a feeling I was gonna, and it was a little piece, I have a feeling I was gonna stitch those little mice under the mushroom. Yeah, this is a cool book. This is a gorgeous book. Oh, I can't show you all these, but these will take forever, but just pretty little projects. Yeah, beautiful projects and just a gorgeous style. Um, Here's another picture just so you can kind of get an idea. This book, oh, look, has so many good things in it. I have one or two more of these, of her books, of this stitch stuff is gorgeous. All right, um, oh, <laughs> I bought this kit. This is a um, Hands-On Designs by Kathy Haberman. I bought this kit, I think it was called the Cookie Exchange. Um, maybe I can put a picture up of it here. We got little labels to make floss drops. Got some, I think it's like Tiffany blue fabric from Fabrics by Stephanie. I have the DMC that we needed. And for finishing, um, some Lady Dot Rick Rack. So someday I will stitch that because that was a cute little thing. Hopefully I was able to find a picture and pop it up there so y'all could see what the finished product would look like everything I need there too. This is like a treasure. Oh, I had another one kitted up. This is an oldie but a goodie. I think this is out of print. You'd have to buy this second hand. Um, I got this as a gift from uh, from uh, someone, uh, a floss tube uh, friend, um, an Instagram friend. And isn't that cool? I think she was cleaning out her mother-in-law's. And I was gonna stitch, what was I gonna stitch out of this one? Cause there's a lot of options. It was something for my son. Oh, it was Chippendale. Let's see if I can find a good picture of him. It was the Chippendale by the by the Christmas tree. And so I just have a little piece of Ada pulled. I was gonna make it into an ornament for him. Maybe I'll do that for him for this Christmas. And I have all the floss pulled, so. Next. Oh, okay. Yes. So this is from Summer House Stitch Works, one of my very favorite designers. Um, they have two charts now in this series out, the Days of Christmas Pass, one and two. And what they are is they are, make ornaments. 
and that's the second one and I bought the charm pack and you stitch it on perforated paper and there's the perforated paper and yeah that's not really difficult and it, I guess what they're saying is like you just put kind of like old-timey pictures in there I mean you could or you could put pictures of your family when at like Christmas when they were little that would be fun. I put pictures of my kids or my mom or, you know, everybody. Like, you know, because you always take those Christmas pictures. That's fun. What's in the oh, this is one that I've kitted up. I'm gonna do this one for my son-in-law. This is Cinnamon Sticks Christmas Santa is a star. And I'm gonna make him one of these stand-ups. So I actually worked a little bit hard on this. Um, I had to get this seven count Clostern in the color sand. I got that for my LNS. Look at that stuff, y'all. Woo! And then I went on a hunt for, cause this is an older chart. It might be out of print. This is by Homespun Elegance. Let me see if I see a, I don't even know where I got this from, sorry. Copyright 2001. And so, like, there's a lot of little charms um, used in these charts. And so, I was able to actually go to Homespun Elegance. I think she had an Etsy store and get some, but that wasn't all of them. So, I've been digging around for charms, all right? So, I've got, like, the gingerbread and the teddy bear and a little bird here. It's in this little tiny box. Uh oh, um, shoot, I have low battery, so I don't know what that just did to the video. I hope it didn't cut off. It looks like it's still running. Um, but, I, but I've got a bunch of these little charms found and, and buttons, and it calls for all sorts of buttons and charms and whisper. I've got the whisper, yeah. <laughs> so I've got all the things to make that for my son-in-law at some point but I have something else I'm gonna do for him for Christmas this year. So maybe it'll be next year Christmas. We'll see. We'll see what, yeah. And I still need floss, which, I don't know what kind of floss, let's see. No, I can use DMC, yeah. So I'll use DMC for that because I'll probably have to use several strands. It's pretty, pretty big. Okay, what's next? Oh. Look at that gorgeous bag. That's gear on tone bags with the birds on it. Oh, and it's got just yeah, it does have it has bluebird on it. Because this should be my bluebird of happiness. Yes. This is the Bluebirds of Happiness by Judy Whitman, JBW Designs. That's the chart. Isn't it gorgeous? I think right now you're still only able to buy that through the Keepsakes website. Go online to Keepsakes. I'm gonna be stitching this on 32 count vanilla cream by Atomic Ranch. And I have pulled all of the, all of the beautiful fancy floss. That's gorgeous. I'm going to stitch that in memory of my grandmother, one of my, my dad's mom. She gave me a little bluebird of happiness, a glass one um, when I was younger. So it makes me think of her. I remember there's a little piece of paper with a poem on it. I can't find it anywhere. All right, let's see. Let's get it up in this so much to love bag. Oh, this is a recent kit up. This is Wildflowers by Kathy Barrick. Gorgeous. When I went to Keepsakes during uh, StitchCon 2023, I was able to pick up the Call For Fabric, which is a 40 count seaweed by Fox and Rabbit. And then um, Susan over there at Keepsakes, she was able to pull the silk for me. If they didn't have exactly what was called for, she was able to do a conversion. Look at that, beautiful. It's a mix of Gloriana's, Belle Swaz, and um, Thread Gatherer silken colors. So I adore Kathy Barrick designs. So I am excited about this one for sure. Let's see another chart that I have kitted up here is Star Bright by X's and O's. Yeah, I got this not that long ago in one, two, three stitch. And then it calls for like all of these little fuzzy stuff, fancy flosses and a crinic. I'm still looking for a 
charm. I don't have fabric or floss yet, but I've got the the basically the hardest stuff to find, which is the specialty threads. Oh, what's this one? Oh, this one I'm contemplating to be my birthday start um, this year. This is Firefly Fairies by Lavender and Lace. This is gorgeous. If you ever want to see a stitched one, like in a video, the Virginia Stitcher, Vicki, she has hers framed and it's in a lot of her videos and it is gorgeous. Um, that fabric, so that fabric came with it and it was like specially dyed. It's like a certain kind of fabric and then it's a, it got a big bleach spot basically in the middle of it. Um, Leanne said she would help me attempt that. So I don't have the fabric yet, but I definitely have all of the beads a lot of beads yep um i don't know what this one is this is some sort of a oh, swatage and some dmc and a boatload of krynik and rainbow treasures teak treasure braid so this is ready except for the fabric one more krynik so it's just full of gorgeousness you do i believe have to buy this one on the second hand market um, sometimes it's hard to find and sometimes it's super easy to find and don't overpay for this one because I overpaid for it. And then I saw it like two days later for like 10 bucks. So <laughs> just keep an eye out for a good deal on that one. Um, okay. Here's this one, Bella Filipina. Um, this is going to be my first Bella Filipina Halle Berry Pixie. I'm going to be starting this with Leanne on Christmas Eve this year. I was able to purchase the chart from Garon Tote and Bags, um, Garon Stitchery website, along with the called for fabric, which is a Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers Cocoa Rose. And I haven't opened it yet to see what kind of specialty threads that I need, but I was able to buy the embellishment pack with all of the beads from Garon Stitchery. Yeah, I'm excited to start that one Christmas Eve. Since I finished Miss Christmas Eve already, this is gonna be our new one. And I'm, I love the this the border ah oh, so good so so good okay um this one is glendon place bows all around cheryl is a fabulous designer um what i have kitted on this one it looks like i still need fabric um i might need a few beads but i have it looks like i have beads and I have a whole bunch of the dinky dyes. It might be all the dinky dyes. Dinky dyes are silks. This will be gorgeous. Um, oh, it looks like I might need a couple dinky dyes and two packs of beads. So I still need a few more things to, to finish kitting this one up, but it's gonna be really, really pretty. I have another one by Glendon Place. Ornaments all around. Ooh, that's really pretty. So I still need fabric on this one, um, but it looks like I have a little list going and a bunch of beads and crinics. So I don't think I'm completely done kitting yet. I need to get back to that and finish kitting that one up. Oh, this one's cute. I love this bag that's by Stitch and Peace. So I bought this last Thanksgiving and I was all like, I'm gonna go Thanksgiving to my mom's and I'm gonna stitch and completely finish this chart and that didn't happen i didn't even get it started but it is called sweater vest weather it's a little kit by lindy stitches yes it comes with fabric it comes with came with finishing stuff and did it come with this little pair of scissors wow that's cute putford scissors it's probably kiln scott and a bunch of dmc yeah, so I didn't even get it started, but <laughs> oh well, I will. I think it's a needle book. Yeah, very cute. I love it. I love Lindy Stitches. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, so I'm going to stick a picture up here. Um, this is by Park Hopper Bart. The name of the chart is Be Merry. Um, you can purchase a lot of Park Hopper charts Bart charts on his Gumroad, but also he partnered with Evertote um, last year, and um, you could buy like the whole kit. I didn't buy the fabric, but I did order the floss from them. It it used to be Leo and Roxy floss, now it's just Roxy floss. But isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. So I just need I just need fabric for that one, which is not going to be a big deal. 
And um, I love stitching Bart's designs. All right. This one is La Di Da, A Falling Star. Catch a falling star and put it in your... Yeah, you know the song. I love this one. So I just need to pick out fabric, but I have the MPI silks for it already. This is a cute one from Thistle's Happiest Halloween. Yep. So same thing. I need to choose some fabric, but I've got all my fancy floss, floss pulled for that one. Those are cute. I love this one. I can't believe I haven't started this one yet. This is, um, I think it's called Bloom and Bugs Vinca. It's by Tell an Emblem. Uh, I need floss, like DMC, and I need some fabric, but I've already got the one specialty floss, it looks like, and the Krynik that it calls for. That one, I love that one so much. Okay, uh, I just got this one in my little summer exchange from my friend Whitney. It is a Summer House Stitch Works Summer Refreshes. Yes. I just need to get some fabric to start that one on because she gave me the DMC, so I'm good on that. Love that one. That's new. Oh, I've got some, some, woo. Got some Satsuma Street kits here. Um, these are so cute. I haven't stitched one yet, but I'm super excited to. This is Snow Buddy. And it comes with um, floss and like sequins, beads, a needle. I don't know if there's any. Oh, 14 count perforated papers in there. I also have this one, Ring-a-Ding Santa. Um, if you don't have an LNS that carries this uh, nearby you, um, Satsuma Street has a website and you can order this from them. S sequins and floss. I've got this one, Tree Topper. Same thing. That one's so cute, I love that one. I've got, looks like one Halloween one, it's called Haunted Hearse. Yep, and that one's got sequins and beads and floss. Oh, they all have, they all have perforated paper. Of course, you don't have to use the perforated paper, you can use whatever you want. This is a cute little um, kit by Chessie and Me called Strawberry Liberty. I get this from Garon Stitchery too. It came with the called for silks and some linen. Yeah, that's cute. Um, I bought this because I want to stitch this for my, um, I bought this because I have somebody who has one of these little dogs. It's an RTO, a little wire fox terrier on wood. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult, huh? Uh, this is Cross Stitch Chart Noel tag from the B Company. I got this in a box. Came with like all the finishing stuff. But it's a cute little chart. Getting close, getting close. What's in this one? Oh, another Lindy Stitches. Um, this one's called Tread Softly. I adore that. Look at that owl. Look at that branch. Whew. Nice. All right, so I got this kitted up from her. I've got um, some Perman. Mediterranean Sea 32 count and it looks like I've pulled um, everything that I need for that so I've got DMC and oh wow I've got some silks in here dinky dyes I didn't know I didn't remember I've got some over dyed and some real pretty dinky dyes in here so I've been wanting to stitch that one for a long time I actually just really forgot about that one I'm glad we pulled that one out Oh, I got this kit from Hirschner's. Uh, from last time I checked, someone asked me to check this summer, Erla, the eye stitcher. Hi, Erla. Um, my sweet friend. Uh, Hirschner's was selling this Christmas charm greeting card kit. Um, looks like it's by Barbara Ann. It's me. Um, but it came with like fabric and floss and like little cards you could make it into. And I, we did try to find this online at Hirschner's and I was not able to. I don't know. Maybe it'll come back out. In the winter, you know, Christmassy time. I don't know. Oh, what's this one? Yeah, that looks familiar. I think I bought this from the Crafty U at the first Steel City Stitcher Retreat. Yes, it's a Shepherd's Bush Joy. And you stitched this on this bag. Yeah. And I've got, um, it's got little buttons, little Shepherd's Bush buttons and pearl cottons. Though so that'll be fun. 
haven't done one of those yet. I bought another bag because at StitchCon this past year, they have a pattern like that too. So I'm gonna do that for that bag. Um, ooh, we got some Shepherd's Bush stuff coming up. This one's called B. Mary. It looks like I just have the buttons on this one, but it's still in my kitted stuff. Very cute. Same with this one. This is a Shepherd's Bush travel trifles and it looks like I've just got buttons on that one. Those are cute. Shepherd's Bush, it's hard to see how cute they are because the, the photos are usually kind of hard to see. I have this little kit, Shepherd's Bush print works. It's called Peace. It has a moon on it. There's another really bad picture, <laughs> but I have uh, came like with a thread pack of all the silks and a button and the raw linen, which I love raw linen. Let's see what else have I got. Um, this one says Mary You. I think this is a Shepherd's Bush too. Yep. Lots of little Shepherd's Bush to do. And this comes with all the floss and the fabric and the ribbon. Very cute. Some of these, I'm not sure where I picked them up from a lot for my LNS. Some of them might be out of print. I don't know. Halloween treat bag. It's another Shepherd's Bush. Look at that. And again, it comes with fabric and floss. And this one's even had some little beads and some finishing stuff. I think that's cute. But this is Alindy Stitches. Glad Tidings. I love those two charts. Yes. Um, and Leanne from Forbidden Fiber Co. She did a floss conversion. Um, it is available or it was available on her website. So I ordered that from Leanne with her Forbidden Fiber Co. flosses to stitch those. I love both of those. Beautiful. Oh, I love Bobby Threads kits. All right, this one is Rendell Designs. Ho, 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 Christmas card. Oh, it's adorable bunny. Yes, it comes with, uh, it comes with like a speckled Ada, which I love. Floss. This came with a whole Christmas card and everything. Hmm. I'm not sure if I got that on a one, two, three stitch, possibly. Here's another Bothy Threads kit. Cut through wedding. I've always wanted to do one of these cut throughs and I am having my 25th wedding anniversary next year. So I'm going to start this um, for our 25th wedding anniversary. Comes with the fabric and the floss. 14 count. Yeah. Amanda Loverseed is the artist. I love it. It's so fun to look at. But there's a whole series of the cut throughs, like of everything, like from a store to a boat to a, I mean, you name it, haunted house. I don't know. This one's so cute. I love puffins. Little clown. Mm -hmm. Same with that little speckled fabric. Floss, just adorable, just adorable. I'm stitching one of those right now. Oh gosh, here come the Mill Hills. <laughs> Wait, let me let me do something else before I get the Mill Hills. Let's see, this is a really cool um, praiseworthy stitches chart. Um, I am going to think, I don't know if I'm gonna stitch this as a drum or not. Pam from Just Keep Stitching, she said she would stitch it like a whole picture and I kind of agree with her. So I'm thinking about it, but I do have the whole finishing kit that came with it. And it looks like I have buttons purchased, but I do not have all the floss yet. Praiseworthy Stitches uses a lot of floss. And um, although you can obviously use the DMC and they give you a conversion, uh, they also chart heavily with overdrive. So it's kind of a production and, and layout of money to get all your floss. So I probably was waiting on that till it's time. This is another Praiseworthy Stitches Holly Jolly Stacker. Um, I was working on getting the different fabrics for this, but it looks like right now all that I have is the little spool, the, the antique spool to go inside to finish it. So that's how that kit came. I got that at market in 2022. Okay, I have hands-on designs block parties, okay? I have a lot of them. Um, mostly I just have, well, this is the 17th. And so I've got the chart, I've got the little wool felt that comes with it. I have the pins that you can order separately. And for this one, actually, I have the linen too. Don't have the floss yet, it's a bunch of fancy floss. I have the block party for the 31st. I have the chart and the pins and they come with the little wool. I have 
the 25th. So I have the chart and the pins and the wool. Um, and I have the fourth and the pins and the chart and the wool. <laughs> and I have woof and um, the pins that say woof and the, the wool and the chart. Uh, I just recently got Meow, but I need to get the pins for Meow. So, I haven't stitched one of those yet either. This is a super cute Bank Creek kit that I wanted to get at the Steel City Stitchers Retreat the first year, but they were they sold out really fast. Um, so, this is a Narwhal. And so, my, my LNS ordered it for me. And it comes, isn't it so cute? Yes, and it comes with fabric and floss adorable. I love a narwhal. <sighs> I bought this from my LNS. Um, this is a prairie moon. It's called spring bag tag and it just comes with a little um, perforated paper and a charm. I need to get, what do I need to get for it? A couple, a couple uh, fancy flosses to stitch that. That's cute for your bag. That's what it is, that little flower. Very sweet. That's, I'm sure that's out of print. Um, this is a Val's Stuff Boo to You Pins on Paper series. <laughs> Look at that little bat. Oh my gosh, he's so cute with that little felt face and those teeth. And it comes with the paper and the felt and the buttons and all the things. I love that. That's Val's Stuff. I just recently bought this from the Garon Stitchery website, um, Art to Heart Mischievous Monster. I'm going to stitch him for my little grandson, Brooks. Came with the buttons. And I'm going to stitch him actually on my Fabric of the Month, Fox and Rabbit fabric. Yeah. And I'm excited to do that one too. I need floss. So you can do it in Fancy Floss or DMC or Anchor. There's an Anchor conversion on there too. Okay. Oh, a few more little praiseworthy stitches kits that I picked up. Um, this was a market release, this Christmas Joy ornament kit. Very pretty. Comes with all the stuff you need to make it, like beads and the ornament and the floss and the fabric. Very cool. I also have these from market, not this past year, the year before, Bewitching Bangles from Praiseworthy Stitches. Got that one. Comes with all the stuff you need. It comes with the, the bangle. Well, I don't know if it comes with all the stuff you need. It might in that little. Oh, it does. It's just wrapped up in there. Look, isn't that cute? And a bangle. It might not, I don't think it has floss in here. I don't want to open, open it. Sorry, that's really loud. Obviously, I haven't opened it. Oh my gosh, it does. It's just teeny tiny. Like, look. <laughs> like little postage stamp size. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, so I'm going to stitch those. Thank you. That's cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right. Almost, almost to the end of the bucket, y'all. And we will be done. Ah, okay. I got this little kit. It must have been with a magazine giveaway. I think I kept it because it has an S for my name on it. But look, it's a little finishing thing. It's a needle case kit. I think it came with one of those UK cross stitch magazines. All right, then I have a few mill wheels. Let's start with the bigger ones. Um, this is a Button and Beads Winter Series Winter Woods, of course. You know, but I love the way that that button of that um, cardinal just pops off those white trees. Comes with the perforated paper, beads, button, floss, the whole nine yards. This one's a Buttons and Beads Believe. That's beautiful. Comes with button beads, needles, perforated paper, floss, whole nine yards again. I have this one, Fa La La Llamas. So cute. It's so cute. Yep. Button beads, floss. Ooh, that's a lot of floss to sort on that one. Yeah. And then this one, Holiday Measure, Holiday Melody, Treasured Stitching Band Kit, Holiday Snow Forest. 
that's cute. This one is an oldie, so I don't know if you can get that anymore. My LNS just happens to be a Mill Hill distributor place, so they have a lot of this kind of stuff. Look at that band. That's gorgeous. And then I've got some little baby Mill Hills. Let's see what we've got. These are the ones that trip me up at the register all the time. Winter holiday cuckoo clock. I love cuckoo clocks. I want a cuckoo clock. I don't have one. I've been thinking about wanting one for my birthday for a long time, but I never get one. Probably because I don't want to ask. <laughs> Look at that one's cute. To you from me. Comes with all the things. We've got Festival of Trees, Victorian tree. That's beautiful. This is an old one. Tiny Treasure Diamond Star Santa. So that one may not be easily available, but you make a whole ornament out of it. And it's cute. It's got the little tassel that hangs off at the bottom. This one's Winter Holiday Collection Holiday Wishes. I think that one was a new one last year. The envelopes were super cute. All the stuffs. These are winter bunnies. <laughs> Love it. Magnet with that one. Autumn Harvest Pumpkin Trio. That's beautiful. Who doesn't love a blue pumpkin? I love a blue pumpkin. All the goodies with that one, too. Oh, yeah. You know, like I said, I can't resist the candlelight. This one's called Candlelight. Gorgeous. This one is Lucky Day. It's a spring bouquet. All the stuff. And this one is so cute. It made me laugh. This was totally a register buy. Pig in a blanket. Ah, this is adorable. Just adorable. I love it. Y'all, that was it. Those are all of my kits, all the things that I have kitted waiting in the wings. Thank you for sitting through this with me and going on this little adventure because I feel like it was an adventure. I definitely forgot that I had some of the things kitted up that I did. And so that's exciting because, you know, now I know, uh, feel a little rekindled to start some of this stuff. Although I am behaving myself this year, I am doing whip warriors to get down my whips because you know, I had close to 100 whips at the beginning of the year. So <laughs> if you want to check back at my whip status, I will be doing a whip parade at the end of the year. Um, in addition, I adore Mirabilia's and I am a Mirabilia stitcher. So coming up soon in the next few months, I will be putting out a Mirabilia parade. I am going to be including my finishes, my um, whips, my kitted projects, my charts, the whole nine yards, my whole Mirabilia collection. So that'll be coming as soon as I get two large pieces back from the framers so I can include them in my parade. So um, thanks for, like I said, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for following along. I hope I enabled you a little bit to find something new and exciting to brighten your day. Um, if you would like to catch me with any more frequent updates, you can always watch my floss tube just by liking and subscribing here. Um, in addition, I post very frequent updates on my Instagram account. That information I'm going to put up here. I'm memphis.sarah.e on Instagram. I like to put up posts, um, post stories, and I save them to my highlights. So um, if you want to come follow along on my cross stitch adventure, I would love to have you. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day and um, enjoy your stitching. Thanks. Bye.